Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Functional Beauty with Alicia Lurie. I'm Alicia and I'm all about functional beauty. If you like content like home decor, home organization, and cleaning inspiration, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and join our family. You can also follow me on Instagram at Alicia Lurie or go check out my blog at alicialurie.com. I'm really excited for today's video because we're going to be doing a little dining room makeover and this is something that I wanted to do ever since I moved into this house. Um, you guys know in some of my cleaning videos I talked about this dining table that I have and it's something I painted several years ago and I'm really over it so I've been stocking this table at Ikea and it finally came back in stock. We got it delivered and we're ready to put it together. Just moving this table out of this space was so exciting for me. I'm just so over it. I didn't even fully finish painting the chairs, so they look terrible. And it was honestly just really hard to keep clean. So over it, this has got to go. To get a little lost in everybody's business, why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? I think I'm the wrong size. Not enough room for everybody's ease. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my time to begin with On and on and on it goes Swing it down in life, you know Breathing out air for a minute yeah. So in this moment, I'm trying to help my husband pick up this table and you guys, I was not expecting this table to be that heavy, but it is ridiculously heavy. So he's like, just move out of the way. I'll do it myself. And y'all, I'm hanging on to the end of this thing, but I'm not really helping him. At first we were going to just kind of put this together and hold it up to see if we liked it with the table, but I just figured that I would like it anyway and we realized we weren't sure how far to hang it down without putting the table up. So we decided to grab the table and just put that together first. Um, even though it would be in the way, we'll just have to scoot it over and hang the light. Um, so here we are just putting this table together. The one thing that I, don't love love about this table is that they split the two pieces of wood down the center lengthwise and it's not the end of the world but it is somewhat I don't know it's just different there's a little tiny gap um, where the two pieces of wood meet so it's not the most horrible thing in the world but I think that's the one thing that I don't love about this table um, other than that I absolutely love it I think all of the different wood colors work really well with the different wood colors in my house and the black base I just love the whole thing I did get this from Ikea um, like I said before, and it was super affordable. I got this table, the three chairs, and the bench all for under a thousand dollars, and that includes the tax and the shipping fee. So to me, I thought that was a really good deal because there were a lot of tables that I w was looking at previously that were over a thousand dollars just for the table. So I thought that this is such a good deal, and I love the the style of the table so I just look past the small thing that I don't like about it and um, yeah I think it's just a really good deal and it's super pretty This table is also really heavy and um, th since it's sped up you can't totally see my struggle but I struggled you guys. I am just a weakling so I'm not 
I'm not helpful, but at least my husband, he's strong enough to do most things by himself. Now it's time to put the light up and I love this light. We got it from Home Depot and then I had to order the actual light bulbs from Amazon. Um, but I absolutely love the style of this and I think it looks really, really good with the table. So out with the old and with the new. Next step is putting together our chairs. I got three chairs and a bench. Um, and later on, you'll see what we ultimately decided to do with the bench situation. Um, I wasn't 100% sure it would be big enough for the table. Um, so you'll see that here in a little bit, but we're just putting together these chairs. And these chairs are also from Ikea. Um, they are kind of a pain in the butt to put together because um, there's really no screws. It's just that like L wrench that you have to use to um, tighten everything up. So they are a little bit of a pain, but I do really like the way they look with the table. Stop. Hey Google. Stop. Hey Google. Y'all have to let me know in the comments if this ever happens to you. My Google Home that's here in our dining room and never listens to me. She listens to everybody else in this house but me, so we have fights all the time. Sometimes I can't believe you are mine Love's a gun and baby You're my trigger You kiss me in a way that gets me high You make all my dreams come true It feels right Just being around you We could break up and then make up I always come back to you You move me in a way So here we're putting together the bench. Honestly, when I ordered this, I thought it was gonna be too small for the table, but I thought, you know what? It's part of the same collection, so maybe it won't be so bad. I really, really wanted 
the bench because I always thought looking at the dining room that there were just too many chairs. One, we had eight chairs around the table and then we had the four chair, the four bar stools at the island. And then we have to the right of the dining room, we have um, our sunroom, which has chairs in it. So I just felt like it was just too many chairs. So I thought the bench idea was really good. Um, but ultimately we put everything together and we just thought it looks too small. And I'll show you a picture here in a minute, what it looks like finished with the bench and you'll see what I'm talking about. So here it is all finished. You can see that the bench is just a lot smaller than the table and I just didn't like that look. So we went back to Ikea and grabbed three more chairs and I'm much happier with the look of that. Here I'm just putting the finishing touches on the table centerpiece. This is not what I want permanently here. I would like to do something different and I have a couple ideas in mind, but for now this is just a temporary uh, solution because I just like having something in the middle of the table. So I'm just switching out these spring flowers for something a little more fall and I just play around with all of it until I like the way it looks. So I'm just putting everything in there and um, yeah, I think it turned out okay, but it's the jute placemat is not my favorite on this table. So I think I would like to do something else, but here's the finished product. I absolutely love, love this makeover. It made such a huge, huge difference just to change those couple little things, just the table and the light uh, made such an impact on the overall look of the entire space. So I'm absolutely in love with it. Let me know what you think down below. That's it for me today, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that it gave you some inspiration to decorate your own home. Make sure that you uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you guys next time. Also, if you want to follow me on any social media platform, it's always at Alicia Lurie.